uh, Becky Haynes, who listeners may remember appeared on the show at one point, but uh, was a friend of mine, a friend of Vince's, and uh, somebody who uh, you're gonna you're gonna learn about if you never heard of her before in just a minute. So, Vince, you ready to roll? You bet. I I got you just perfect timing. I hit the button for your introducing Becky, and uh, t- today is uh, uh, a brand new. Uh, first episode in a new season here is Fall Fell upon us. Uh, leaves 13 weeks between now and um, winter. Well, uh, last uh, last one was called, uh, well, not the last one, last one, the one before the last one, I think it might have been. Um, <laughs> I had 13 and a half parts. So in the same uh, spirit, I'm, I'm uh, going to have 13 and a half episodes out of this one, and the uh, theme is in uh, contrast. So we'll we'll find, and we're starting out with life. And I've taken the title from uh, Becky's book that she wrote, and it's on uh, Amazon. I guess I can't afford any funds to her on PayPal up in heaven, I reckon. Uh, hey, this is Vincent Easley. I'm here on RealLibertyMedia.com, I've, uh, along with a ponder gander at what matters. And today is living life on our own terms. Thank you, Becky. Find her book. Just be... In me, it's life in contrast, and it's a celebration and a tribute to the life of Becky Haynes Cowley, a friend of ours, of many, many people. And I look to find where we get connected, and I'll come back to that. So celebrating her life, she was born September the seventh, in 1964, and she died here this week, September the 23rd of 2019. Uh, somebody's pinging me here. Yes, just being me. Living life on our own terms. I've got in the radio log here, uh, front and back cover of uh, her book. You'll be able to find where that is. And then it says, uh, Just Be In Me is the first book published by a creative spirit, Becky Haynes. She explores the simplicities and the intricacies of like, uh, of, of, I'm sorry, of like only as vibrant survivor can do. It's like as only a, I'm sorry, I messed that up. Well, with uh, resigned optimism and bravery, a lot of this tell you she fought. She fought long and hard for many years. She stuck around in this world. She made an accomplishment, and she came to, to bring about things that need to be done. She touched a lot of people. I'm really uh, glad to have known Becky through the ether. And you'll welcome to her Facebook page and a lot of people that uh, had never fit met her face to face um, so yes uh, enclosed within are the words and photography of a woman who seemed always find more to say Chuck we've uh, we've all talked a lot I, I reckon over these last several years and I, I think I brought it down to 2012 when Becky and I come to know one another here on the internet um mm-hmm. That connection went far and wide, and I believe uh, Vicky is uh, the closest I can come to where I actually intersected with her out here in the uh, in the interwebs of the internet. Well, if you don't mind, Vince, I'd I'd like to interject a story here because I actually uh, I, I I encountered Becky first in 2014. Uh, online, but uh, but in person, uh, about two, almost two years later, uh, we actually sat down. I went to go visit visit Becky in her home, and uh, this is before she uh, met her husband there, and uh, and all that. Um, but uh, it was uh, it was an interesting uh, kind of adventure, and uh, I'd like to get to that at some point. But uh, but she was uh, remarkable from the time that I encountered her online. Even uh, uh, the it, it's funny because it, it's a it's a fake world, the digital world, the chat room world, the you know the Facebook world. It's it's not part of the real. You know what I mean? It's not part of the things that are right in front of you. But sometimes people's spirits, their their character their person bleeds through the fake and you you can really truly encounter at least part of uh, of what somebody's like they do represent themselves well mhm yeah through absolutely. The reality and becky was one of those people 
Right. We, yeah, I mean, uh, over at her Facebook page, she's got, uh, um, you know, family and friends, people that she's grown up with. And then there's a lot of people. Uh, well, I guess we're we're the same and a little bit different. We, uh, You and I have met people face-to-face that uh, we became connected with with uh, other people that we hadn't met, met face-to-face. But, mm-hmm. uh, so Becky has all those friends there, and a lot of people came and were inspired by her uh, by her life. And she lived quite a life. She was a fighter. She, uh, she overcame for a long time. It's, uh, it's a terrible thing, this world, and that's, uh, that's part of it. We go to the end, and uh, she passed peaceably. Uh, one o'clock in the morning this week mm-hmm. earlier. Uh, we're, we're glad to know that you know she's not a, a pain and suffering, and a lot of people have their faith and beliefs, and uh, find comfort in that, uh, as do I. But I would like to—I'd like you to tell the story of when you met Becky. Well, you know, it, it, it's interesting. Uh, did not know at, at the time I first encountered her. I wasn't living too close to her, but. Uh, I wound up moving to North Carolina uh, shortly after kicking off my uh, my first radio show, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, this is how she encountered me is is through uh, you know the chat room over at UCY. That's where I first remember running into her, right? Uh, and and she had a lot of interesting things to say already back there, you know, about uh, the, the 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 struggles of life, how she had uh, already gone through a great deal, uh, not just not just with the disease. Uh, you know, because it wasn't like she was consumed with that, and that was the only thing that was. I mean, for for time periods, apparently she had to focus on it, and we get that. You know, there there are times when you have to really kind of become obsessed with your enemy, and uh, uh, certainly uh, cancer was her enemy. Uh, and it it uh, the the way that she fought it, the way she described fighting it, the way she shared that with people that she didn't know, uh, you know, some people had familiarity with her because, like I said, the chat rooms and things like that. You you get a sense of somebody sometimes. Uh, it, it it was it was really fascinating to watch her engage with others, and uh, and and the fact that she chose to kind of personally reach out to me at that point in time because she heard something in what I was doing and, uh, you know, wanted to share her story with me and wanted me to share with her. You know, there was uh, there was that, too. It wasn't just about uh, being centered on her story at all times. Uh, she lived, you know. She didn't just uh, be an expose on herself, you know what I mean, which is, uh, which is something that you do see sometimes where people are so preoccupied with just the things they can reach out to and see in front of them that they forget about the rest of the world she never did that uh which it, which i find uh, uh again rare um it's easy anyway. to do it, it really is i mean you get out there and you get into this thing that you're doing these things kind of like uh what uh different but the same or uh, right out uh right when i started at uci in the radio this uh what matters worldwide, and, and I still carry that theme. And I take it into this Ponder Gander that I'm doing now and rolling along here at Real Liberty Media. Um, we've had some folks come over to uh, join over in the chat from uh, UCY.TV. A mm-hmm. shout out to Jules. Uh, she did an incredible job there. There's uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of archived, uh, very informative radio in uh, people of, of, of claim. Um, you know, that have some credentials <laughs> behind them, you know, in a sense. Now, for me, I just went and made my own credentials as I went along. I figured that, uh, hey, I like to talk, and I like to talk about things. And uh, when uh, when it came along here that uh, I met uh, James Freeland and, uh, on a bus rolling around out uh, across the country on one of my western journeys, and uh, we talked and talked, and we uh, captured the whole bus. Well, we even broke down on the side of the interstate out by Gallup. But, uh, yeah, I found out, and I'd already heard about this microwave or, or micro shot uh, radio, I guess it was. Micro dot. That's acid right now. <laughs> but well, any, broadcasting you're thinking of, uh, right? Yeah, you know, internet. Well, I was all new to all that stuff, the internet and whatnot. And, uh, you know, didn't even have it, but anyways, knew what it was, and uh, so uh, he's doing internet radio, and uh, 
along comes Jules and picks up, uh, well, this was before UCY and, and uh, Orion and, and uh, the other one, Oracle, I think it was. And then Jules fired up UCY and built up an incredible place right there and brought a lot of people in together for uh, uh, to come about and these common ideas for discussion. And so, as I say, the uh, what matters carries over here into uh, the Ponder Gander, I call it. I look, you see, think about it. Mm-hmm. Oh no! You and I had adventures too. Uh, uh-huh. You know, through the What Matters Worldwide uh, radio world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On uh, my travels. You know, and you and I have not met face to face yet. But no. but as I was saying, you know, it, it was kind of interesting to transition from that to well, gee, you know what? Uh, we we were both in North Carolina, right? Uh huh. And uh, so you know, there was some distance between us, but it was like, hey, how about if we visit sometime? You know, uh, and and this is uh, me, Kim, and uh, Frankie, of course. And Frankie, uh, at that point, you know, he's only maybe two years old. And, uh, you know, he's a bit of a rambunctious child, unvaccinated and all that. (laughs) You know, and uh, she definitely wanted to to meet him. Cool. Right, after having heard about him and uh, a couple of times he cried on the radio and this kind of thing. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So it it was like, well, let's just get together and do that. And uh, we took a trip to her place, uh, the three of us, and uh, spent about three, four days there, uh, you know, and we we cooked together and we talked uh, all night, you know, uh, really not getting a lot of sleep (laughs) and uh, stuff like that. And in the course of doing that, the funny thing was that um, I uh, ended up doing uh, a couple of radio shows right from her place uh, and... uh, so she was kind of, she thought it was interesting to watch what happens when somebody's actually doing one of those shows and all that. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, it, was, uh, it was just really remarkable to see somebody that was uh, so very much alive uh, despite their, their past struggles. At this time, she was pretty healthy, um, but she was starting to feel as though maybe something was, was getting back into her system the wrong way, and she was talking about having to... Uh, you know, go back to the things that had made her healthy before when they told her that she wasn't going to be healthy uh, and, and all of that. But, um, you know, it was, it was, just, it was just interesting uh, to, uh, to, you know, finally get face-to-face with somebody that uh, you, you had experienced kind of online a little bit, and I'd taken calls from her on the show and that, so I'd spoken to her. You know, it's not like uh, we had never spoken or anything. We spoke off the air a little bit, too. Uh, but you know, to to actually uh, you know be with somebody and be in their home and cook with them and her place was uh, a very little kind of uh, it was just an RV you know <laughs> a tiny tiny place and uh, I, I I slept on the uh, the bench of the thing that was also the kitchen table where my computer had to be you know in order to get my work done right yeah, yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, Almost broke my neck uh, trying to get out of the RV uh, one night, you know, to go out and have a cigarette in the middle of the night because uh, I'm blind as hell and there's these little, you know, RV steps and all that. Um, you know, it, it was uh, it, it was just a weekend where we we were in the same space and we were enjoying each other's company and uh, and uh, she was, you know, uh, watching us kind of, you know, let 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 Frankie walk around and do his thing, and oh, be careful, you know, that he doesn't get hurt because he's this little venturous toddler uh, there on a, uh, you know, on a, like a trailer campground kind of area where she was living. Uh-huh. Uh, we wound up going to the beach, which was uh, one of his hey, favorite places to go. Uh, you know, it, it, there's a lot of things that could be said about the the, the time visiting there, but it was. Uh, I see. I, I I think about these kind of things when somebody moves on. Um, I don't just uh, think, well, you know, yes, indeed, I'm I'm pleased to to think that, you know, without uh, without the body to restrain you, you don't have pain any longer. I'm pleased to think about that, but I'm even more pleased to uh, to remember her, you know, telling jokes hmm. and uh, telling really dirty jokes too. By the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the jokes were uh, were pretty funny. Uh, Becky was uh, 
was uh, you know she was she was clearly a woman and all that, but she could but she could definitely do the the very manly duty of getting down to some dirty jokes. We did that in the middle of the night, uh, you know, just just for fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, we uh, uh, shared some of the uh, some of the gifts of the earth, not just food, but others uh together i hope i you know stopped in time i'm jumping over into your chat room sorry about that i'm clicking oh. buttons though so it could be dangerous yeah i have no idea what's going on over there in my chat room i'm not looking at it but because uh, this is a surprise broadcast for my people so Hi. you know they didn't expect this and um and uh you know so when i heard about her passing i i, I immediately have to think about Cause this, is this this time period here that i got to spend with her because uh because for me, that's uh, you know that that that's a gift I got, and uh, and I'm and I'm pleased to have that memory. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and I'm just speaking from my heart here, man. I don't know if I'm even making sense. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking. You're telling good. You know, but uh, it it's uh, but th this is what I think of, and 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 I think of the fact that I know she inspired a lot of other people. She was an artist. She saw the world as an artist, and. Uh, uh, sure, uh, photography was something that she did quite well. Uh, she had a lot of, of, of ideas about where she wanted to go in the future, as we all do, because, uh, you know, it, it's it's very few people that actually know that their future is limited. Um, I know at some point recently she started to recognize that her time was probably limited, but, uh, but quite frankly, the majority of... Uh, of the time she was around and that's not saying that she was always the perfect warrior or anything like that she was quite human you know from what i observed from yeah. my interactions my discussions my personal private discussions with her and uh, i'm not going to share all that uh, uh with you guys today but you know it, it it is something that i treasure overall because i got a very good sense uh, uh, uh of a human being i was happy to breathe the same air with and uh, it is a rare commodity, to be honest with you. You know, uh, that's something she was. Go ahead. Some people might think people like us and her and and me, so many others. Here's Donna over here in uh, Real Liberty Media. She's uh, she's talking about you right now in the chat room. Uh, mm -hmm. She says, well, she's, she she uh, starts out and says uh, James Freeland when uh, they started out on Revere Radio, and uh, that's before he went over to Oracle. So there's some history right there. And she says we all need to write a book about the origins in the early Internet radio wars. I guess there was some squabbles. <laughs> she says about uh, about you that you sound like a beautiful, sounds like a beautiful experience. Yeah, yeah it was. It was. No, J JJ's an interesting character, man. Uh, uh, you know, big, big ups there. Yeah, you're right. Revere Radio for sure, but... There was a nexus of a lot of networks that uh, that kind of coalesced together, um, which were part of the bridge from see micro broadcasting. When Vince brought that up, there was a time period where you know there were people that were just kind of with that unlicensed uh, uh, and and vaguely licensed uh, radio broadcasting that that went on all over the country, and they started to coordinate together. Um, and that was before the internet, right? Yeah. Uh, in in the days when people were still, I don't even know if shortwave radio is still a thing, but I used to listen to it. That's where I first found Bill Cooper, uh, and and uh, you know people like that. There there there's a lot of deep history there, uh, like you know what I call the analog podcasting. I, I think it would be an interesting book to write. Yeah. I don't know if I'd be the person to write it. No, not me but, either. Uh, but, you know, there, there were days where instead of podcasts, what you got is you could get on a mailing list and people would send you a cassette, right, of either a radio show or something they recorded in their home. It was like the, uh, you know, the podcast in slow motion, right? They have to tape it, copy it, and then send it to you. Uh, and they actually used to send them along with, uh, like, show notes and stuff like that. May Brussel used to do that. Cool, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there, there were others. There were others too. Who had you know, say, a radio show in Des Moines or whatever, but because they they were, you know, doing some unusual material and it wasn't getting out to other parts of the country, you could get on their mailing list if you heard about them and things like that. Um, there's a variety of stuff that sort of translates into uh, what people take for granted today in the uh, in the wide, wild world of podcasting, right? Supposedly, even Rudy Giuliani is going to go get himself a podcast now. Everybody's got a podcast, man. 
Uh, <laughs> I, I I gotta call it a an R log, a radio log, so that you change the uh, the dirty name. Yeah, you can try, but you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> it's like you you could call you could call a cereal a health food uh, extravaganza. It's still breakfast cereal, man. Unfortunately, it's in the same kind of package, and it's going to go out there until somebody really innovates it, right? That's right. So, hey, there's your wife. Uh, oh, but that's well, that's I, the thing about life, though, man. In general, let's you know let, let let's tie that together with what we're talking about here. Becky went through an evolution, right, where she was con confronted with years ago and years before I met her and probably a couple years before you met her, I think, uh, although it might have been around the time you met her, you know, where, where she was confronted with listening to the uh, alleged authorities in the white coats who basically said, you know what, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, I remember. And, and you're going to die soon. And uh, I, I know it doesn't sound like much of a victory, but seven years later is when she finally let go. Wow. And it wasn't seven months, and it wasn't seven weeks, right. and it wasn't, you know, either take all of our crap or you're going to be dead. You know, she did some of that. But then she started pulling back and looking for other solutions. And uh, that's why I posted uh, earlier the, the last time she was on my show in 2017, uh, where she gave a whole explanation about, you know, putting together different colored foods. It's a very simple kind of format that she discovered. And it makes sense because uh, different components are represented by different colors and you wind up with different nutritional values. And, I mean, there, there, there's a lot of ways to look at how you can feed yourself, not only uh, physically but intellectually. Yeah. And, um, again... Uh, she was one of these people who, who not only, you know, talked about it and read about it and wanted to philosophize about it, but lived it. And, uh, uh, you know, again, it was just a remarkable experience. I mean, there 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 are just some people that there, – there are different classes of people, let's put it that way. And it's not the classes as in social classes, how much money you got, what's your education level. That's all That's all fiction, you know. There, there are classes of people that, in their hearts, in their, in their spirits, in their being, they are certain types of people. And, uh, you know, I, I consider myself part of the warrior class, if you will. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not part of royalty. I'm not part of the, uh, you know, a lot of other things. It might even be a lot more honorable. But warrior class is, uh, is exactly where I would put this woman. Yeah, uh, I and, think that's a good uh, you know, and, and I celebrate her for that reason. Good. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I've neglected. Um, Steve is uh, our brother. There is uh, come to ask for a link. So uh, it will. Uh, I thought I had it included in there. Well, I'll go get it here. I'll get a pop up uh, player here on the on the internet. That's one I like. I'll get that address here. Sorry. You'll hear this uh, later. It'll uh, Steve. It'll. Um, I'm trying to talk and copy. Yeah, oh, Steve wanted to link to the show right now. Uh huh. Okay. Well, uh, I I don't know where I could send him the link. I, I got him over here. He's uh, made comment, and that was half an hour ago. Sorry about that. I thought it was up there in the the read more. So, anyways, uh, let me just type out. I'll hand you the mic here, and I'll type him a little message. Yeah. Well, like I was saying, you know, the 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 thing that 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 I recognize is. Uh, uh, again, when uh, I've known a lot of people who are no longer here, you know, and <sighs> earlier on in life, I didn't study it the same way that I do now. Uh, I got to say that after a while, you start to learn that uh, you, you, you need to take into account that you were privileged to be around some people. And sometimes that privilege doesn't feel like a privilege. Uh, there, there, there are people that are that are pretty terrible <laughs> on the planet uh and uh and, and you know what you, you got to even sometimes recognize that you're privileged to deal with the terrible people because they taught you what terrible people are you know you got to see it firsthand um but equally we must remember that there there are people that that, that i find to be uh, uh representative examples of certain things and like i said um it, it's not just the kinship of dealing with the the warrior spirit um, but uh, but there was but there was something else there too, and it's it's not just well I appreciate my own kind. 
uh, she was uh, rather unique, and I would say that uh, I don't think I encountered another person uh, that, that that I would compare to her. <laughs> um, and I know some of the things I said, you know, sound a little superficial. You know, what are we doing? We're eating and we're, you know, in, enjoying maybe uh, edible cannabis. And, uh, <laughs> you know, she watched me do a radio show, no big deal. You know, she got to hang out with my toddler. But I'm telling you, it was just... Uh, just a really cool experience, man. You know, there's a, a lot of names there of uh, people that came in and uh, they, they took a, a bit at the mic and did some uh, radio broadcasts, brought a lot of information. Uh, well, Maria Heller, for one. People that can't become can, connected. Uh, Ian Jacklin, J. Cynthia Brooks. Um, back over on my Facebook page, we've got um, Lisa uh, Smith right here. And that's one of the earliest people that uh, I think where we were... Uh, originally connected at let's see and she says here uh that she's shocked and she uh, they messaged often and that was from four hours ago well, well uh, i i was i her. was actually a little surprised um because uh, again having known her uh, just a bit it, it almost felt like uh she wasn't going to give in under any circumstance to <clears throat> to this, but you know, look, we we all have one thing in common, and that is that that our time here is limited, and uh, it, it it again is not necessarily about how you uh, how you ended your time, but how you spent the majority of what you had before that, right? Um, like I said, it's just even remarkable that seven years. I mean, they probably wouldn't have given her seven months or seven weeks when right. they first encountered the issue with her and uh she told you know she kind of told that story again uh when i was sitting there with her and we were talking about uh different health issues um you know that uh that, that each of us had at the moment <laughs> at that very moment we were talking about certain health issues and uh you know um diabetes and weight and uh and uh you know exactly what what was wrong with my circulation i was talking to her about it <laughs> you know uh, a few other things right um it, it it there was a lot going on there you know what i mean there was a lot going on there and that's and that's the way life is nobody is one thing nobody is you know all one direction nobody is one character and uh you know some people are are greater characters than others and like i said before I, I just really consider it a blessing to have known her yeah uh, i'm over here looking through the facebook and she has a series of uh, uh posts back into this one i think starts uh, in august but it goes back a little bit through time and she's got some pictures she shared and uh so i've taken a few pictures and i'm they'll be in the uh, radio log in the uh uh at the ponder gander the our uh, RLM radio radio writing series. If I can't say it, I might type it in there. But uh, I, I could go through here a bit um, for for brevity of time, I guess. But I, I pull out here just right here back to August thirtieth. Uh, she says her fifty fifth uh, birthday is coming on the seventh, and uh, and made it. She says she made it that long without ever having to set up a cell phone <laughs> that's the last i'm going to say about a phone till i get it back in her hand she says the new one with uh with a new number and i get it i i, I remember said something happened to her phone but uh it's like i remembered that y'all had met you know after i remembered <laughs> uh, i know that you'd uh, talked about it before um she's a very positive person and but uh, we see here to, to she come along and um, shared her life, and I think it's a, it's a great um, testament. And I've I've included this in here. And let me pick up. Uh, well, uh, you know, before she got sick again, we were talking about the possibility of getting her, you know, finally to do her own radio show, mm -hmm. right? Um, and it, the, the cell phone thing reminds me that uh, she had a couple struggles with the technology. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I remember volunteering, you know, listen, Becky, I'll make this as easy as I can for you. I'll help you any way I can. Uh, but uh, but she had little little minor fits with technology, I would say, from time to time. That's another little quirk <laughs> there. Hey, that, you, uh, uh, you produced a, 
<laughs> a time or two for me while I was out there with the cell phone out in the middle of the desert. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, true. I'm uh, uh, I'm flashing over here. Let me go see what that's about, and I'll catch a reminder. Thank you, thank you, barman. Thank you, Grimner. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read through here a little bit what I've got built over here. Sure. And I've got some pictures to, and uh, a couple of things that Becky had to say. Well, here's a picture, and this is back uh, September the 6th of uh, 2018. So it was the day before her birthday. It says, uh, thank you, Facebook, for announcing my born day. I added, I added the hyphen in there. <laughs> Don't get mad. It's a grammar thing. I didn't do it. I didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm trying to learn this grammar stuff. Anyways, I digress. It was the day before her birthday. But anyway, she goes on to say, my favorite picture of her mama here and her, this uh, this little baby coming into, the, into this world with a bang. And there she is, little bitty baby girl for uh, just brand new into the world. And I've made that my uh, profile picture on uh, Facebook. Well, it, Becky passed peacefully at uh, early Monday morning at 1 a.m. September the 23rd of 2019. She touched many souls in this world. And we will sorely miss her. This, today is today Kenny to Becky to tribute from the life she uh, lived and shared with others. And remembering the life she shared serves as both her testament and will that to God be the glory shall be for the good of others. When you feel you may be drowning in this thing called life, just tie another knot at the end of your rope. Hang on. Things will change. Becky said that. Now, I've got here at the blog, uh, there's a, a fellow named Stephen Tolbert, and he wrote a little song about a few knots, and I thought it important to include that in there. I like his music. He's a good singer and a good songwriter, and uh, I find uh, where it, uh, the artunication comes into to this uh, thing I'm doing here, uh, radio writing, and I find a, a lot of uh, inspiration from a lot of different people, and him included. Well, here's this picture, and I think she's 16 in it. She says she stumbled upon this picture, and uh, it made her feel a bit chatty. <laughs> uh, she says she's just so thankful that the woes in life, the worries, the abuse, the grief we all encountered didn't squash the spirit. She says that she sees in this photo that uh, she's about to set loose on one of the most balanced ventures in her wee little world and she's looking forward to sharing herself with her adult kids and that wee Sammy I think I've seen a picture of that little baby sure enough at the beach uh -huh. maybe what's happened to me she says is through the love of my children and I'm learning to love older people too <laughs> and she's got Chris K the name right there and there's another picture of her out on the beach holding her sandals sure enough and down there, her is uh, she, there. She is as a little bitty girl, and I reckon there might be two uh, brothers. I, f I figure one of them's got to be Steve. And there's a picture of her daddy, and that was not uh, not too long before uh, he passed this world also of cancer. And there's a picture of her. I'm not sure how old she is. She got her one of them uh, fast car NASCAR jackets on and a hat. <laughs> and there's a story that goes with that. And there is uh, her and her husband right there. And these come from uh, Becky's profile pictures. If you ain't got no Facebook, if you're, you're hearing this and you want to come over here on the uh, Real Liberty Media blog spot here that I'm doing the Ponder Gander on, uh, there's a clickable link right there, and you can backdoor into Facebook without an account. Sneaky, huh? <laughs> ah, well, we built memories. We built them not knowing that the day would come that they would be memories. Well, that someday is uh, in that, uh, let me say that again, that someday in the not the distant future, we look back at those times and, and think of like it as it as a house and wonder where it went off, where it all went. I can't talk. You know, well, anyways, I was trying to read somebody else's stuff here, uh, Victoria, but I've got her credit in there. Here's, uh, here's something maybe I can read a little easier. It goes as... Uh, 
All flesh is grass, and the goodliness I see, like the flowers of the field all withered away, man born of a woman, full of troubles for a few days, like a vapor, a vapor that appeareth for a little while, the time it vanishes away. I've often wondered about the things that I've done, and it was vexation of the Spirit, Vanity Beneath the Sun. That's a song from Stephen Tolbert there as well, and All Flesh. <clears throat> we have uh, so brief at times, we have uh, so brief a life, and then an endless life of endless death. So brief a life, then in endless peace or, sp or strife. Whoso considereth how man but like a flower or shoot of grass blooms an hour, well, may sigh, alas, grass. Christina wrote this poem here. It's all linked in here to find. And from Pia Melody, and I think they left a L out of her name, but since uh, that's where I got it, I put it like that. Well, she says, uh, you can choose your behavior. The world chooses your consequences. There's some fight back. <clears throat> well, here's a little fun and poke at it all right here. It goes, uh, and I abbreviated this, it goes, Oh, turkey in summer days, a vagrant, coy, hard to raise, forever strutting in your pride and bluffing it with haughty stride. Hoo hoo goosey, gander, how you hiss. You're wise enough to ponder this, that birds that squawk and heck and hiss and peck are sure to get it in the neck. Well, on this day, well, uh, square counts in a merry fray. Good enough? That's the uh, Birds of Christmas by a man named uh, Charles, uh, I think that says Erwin Junkie. I, I, I should have blowed this up a little better. I think I'll run down almost through here. I'm getting in close. <clears throat> if I'm not tongue tied, anyways, let's go. And how would we go about that? If only one might try again, he whispered, if only one might. You've got to read the rest of this. A very interesting story. It's the elixir of youth wandering. If you had this vial and you could go back and be young again and do it all over again, but there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of conditions that you might have to consider, and it's all through this poem right here. And you'll find it here on the radio log. It's uh, from Albert Bigelow Payne. Continue reading. Well, in this, in from uh, over to UCY, I got this little bit to, to go into this consideration and the ponderance of it all. It's called a Yamas, Sanskrit. And it's part of... Uh, uh, the condition choice, I guess you might say, I paraphrase this out here, is choice of right living. And being ethical, it means uh, reining in or, or control. Simply, they are rules for proper conduct. So this is ex expressed in many different places, uh, many different writings, and um, expressed and re-expressed, I'd say, down the line through the years. Nothing new under the sun. The you know, withers away, but it sprouts back up, doesn't it? These words to say. The struggle back to life and faith. In the face of pain and certainty of death, there comes a moan to the cancer clinic. There comes a sound so low, unvarying, it seems hardly human. Not a note the wind might strike off the jags of rocks, nice in some wasted place, too remote for anyone to hear. Do you not then hear this horrible scream all around you? You that people usually call silence. Warner Hessog. <clears throat> I shared uh, the day before her birthday. Or the day after, I mean. I believe it was actually. You know, I was a day late, but I wasn't a dollar short. It was the embrace of the state of being. 
I had to retune all that that I thought I set out on there to do on that, and it came about in a whole different way. Away with words, and edits added. The big wishes I sent, and the big old heart to Becky, and I quoted her. And I said, I write my own script in life, but it's the purpose in my soul that guides me. Becky said that. Well, I said, when I come to that place, that part of me where I find my rest is Jubilee. And rendezvous meet me. Benny. And there's some more from uh, Julieta. Oops. <laughs> I'll go there. Stop. I'm back over here. Pushing buttons. <laughs> I'm terrible with buttons. Stutter fingers even. But anyways, I was uh, uh, included her in. I've almost run to, to the end here. I think, I think, I think. Uh, a couple of little bits to add here. Uh, the pre-tunication and, and uh, this list uh, off the record in the songs that I played for the uh, uh, warm-up and I, what I call pre-tunication. Just uh, getting it ready, getting the feel to come on along. There were seasons in the sun and don't fear the reaper. That's where we come. And she went fi uh, right out where and up where she was going. There I also had uh, September in remembrance of her birthday. Remember September. In a time of the season. How we are these blades of grass. Seasons in the sun and don't fear the reaper and the beetles the end. I had a little church and I played the, the old rugged cross of Michael Combs. I come from my brother's YouTube channel. Why, uh, starting out, I, I come in here out of order somewhere, but we had the guess who? And, uh, laughing. And Mr. Roboto. Awesome, he got to. Well, in there's a little secret, secret, uh, my true identity. There it is, it really tells who we are. And we think of, no, well, I did, of this music that, uh, the flow. And from Anti and Chad, I got this word legato. In music, performance, and notation, legato indicates that musical notes are played or sung smoothly and connected. That is, the player makes a transition from note to note with no intervening silence. Legato technique is required for slur performance. But unlike slurring, legato does not forbid re-articulation. I say re -articulation. Thank you very much. And that leaves me right here on top where this cat's at. Uh, nesting clowns, I've come up to call them in my true identity. My secret, super, super secret, don't tell. <laughs> yes, this poor boy, Scaramouche. And I do the Fantango. Well, you can find out more and listen to some noble non-century of these nesting clowns. That's right. In hat. And that was just some fun I've been adding to. Chuck, I'm, uh, I think I've uh, run and rambled along here till I got to the very end of it. I did, I did. Well, I wanted to get uh, time to do what you're going to do, uh, you know, and go 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 through the uh, the poetry, the eclectic sound, uh, you know, the ideas you had there. Um, she, also, she also loved music, too. Let's not forget that. Uh, she did appreciate music, certain Classic rock, some people might call it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, some other music she enjoyed, too, but uh, at least I could come together with her on the classic rock stuff a bit. <laughs> I really mostly went back to uh, to this latter part of the six, uh, 70s, for, but not completely. It all bounced around. Hey, I got a rat dot on my uh, wire over here. Better go see what that is. Ah, well, okay. Uh, I'm I'm going to close out the because uh, we are simulcast on on my network right now. I'm going to close out when you're ready uh, with a song from Cirrus Minor called "I'll Be All Right." All right. But uh, well, but let's that, take that, it. Uh, I started ten minutes late. Let's take it another fifteen minutes if you're good with that. We'll run over uh, past the uh, top of the hour unless you got uh, something that's uh, no. Nah, look for for to make the point that uh, you know Becky is somebody that should be remembered. No, I'm here, man. All right, man. However long you need me. I know. <laughs> All right on. Hey, Donna. Donna said, uh, she says, Bex, after I had my brain injury and uh, and bowed out of doing radio and running uh, defiant to YouTube and irritate the state, she tried to encourage me to do radio with her, you know, talking about Becky. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, Becky touched a lot of lives. And, and uh, 
there's those of us, me, you, Donna, James, a lot of us that we have a thread that, that runs together and um, it's an amazing thing. And, and we know each other without having met face to face or had a, a handshake hand to hand, you know. Uh, it, uh, she's, she's done good. She uh, struggles with uh, that brain injury with causes uh, seizures and uh, cannabis CBD oils has uh, really helped a whole lot. She went quite a while without any seizures from having uh, multiple seizures every day. You know, that's been a long, hard fight. And uh, Becky was also uh, on top of that, too, the, uh, the cannabis. Uh, and there, there's many, uh, you know, different, uh, uh, and you can't say the word cure because that's a word that uh, the, the doctors own in FDA and whatnot. But, uh, I like to call it correction, you know, correlation and correction. But it's uh, getting well is is more than a full time job. Uh, it's it's a oh, nonstop. It's twenty four seven, and it takes a lot. It takes a dedication, and uh, it takes funds and resources a lot too. And you know we get piled on uh, our feed that we uh, go pick up to to put in our bodies is a bunch of garbage that uh, comes from you know the, these uh, uh, processed foods and. The producers that deliver them out to us, so uh, you know we're we're in a stacked deck and, and winning. You know that. Well, unfortunately, you know what what it comes down to is that the majority of us can't afford to do otherwise. Right. You know, I, I I would love to eat whole natural foods all the time. Uh, it is very difficult to find a space for some of us to grow things for ourselves which is what the, the best solution possible because you know exactly what it was treated with you know how it was handled everything else if you did it but uh but the thing is that it's uh, it's difficult for some of us you know we don't have the the wherewithal to do that so the majority of people wind up trapped in a paradigm where the only thing you can afford to eat is the things that make you unwell yeah. and uh yeah and, uh, th- th- this is also true um you know, so so keep that in mind because you know a lot of people make judgments about that. Where it's like, well, you don't want to you don't want to eat the unnatural food, then go get the natural stuff. Well, you know, it, it's a funny thing. Couple couple thoughts. Uh, if you can't afford to do it, you, you're not going to be able to, right? <laughs> That's one. The other thing is, I, I always take note of this, and and I think this is one of the most brilliant things that, uh, and I shared this with Becky too at one point. Uh, that that Maria Heller ever said to me when uh, when I was first getting to know her, you know, she said, uh, "Yeah, you, you might want to go and pick things out of the health food section at the grocery store, but have you ever asked yourself what what the hell is in the rest of the store if that's the health food <laughs> section?" Wow. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it's uh, these are all relevant things, and and you know, we get, we gotta we gotta do our best to navigate through, right. Uh, what what is what is you know uh, I can tell you how I'd love things to be but what is is yet another story Absolutely. and um, you know again it, it's a combination of both things I mean Becky didn't just go with what is as it was told to her but uh, but she definitely dealt with it and she went uh, by victory through vegetables for a long time as her Nick over in uh, starting out in UCY and even come on over here to Real Liberty Media and uh, right. join in a sin chat. Yeah, she uh, one in, uh, wasn't the other one Be- Becky I am uh-huh, or something uh-huh. like that. Becky I am and I am Becky. Uh huh. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and, uh, and the title of her book, and I'm going to have uh, include some links here to uh, to that book there that, that she wrote, and uh, uh, also there's an art site where you can see some of the, the stuff that she did that's on t-shirts and whatnot. So you can see. And I gave you the part. picture from the from the last show she did with me there, the little template ad that goes along with my shows. Uh, which had two different pictures of her on it. Um, now, some people got upset with me, like, why are you showing this picture of her when she was sick? Uh, this is back, you know, in 2017 when we did this, and uh, they didn't know when they were getting upset with me hmm. that uh, that uh, Becky had actually specifically said, use that picture. Yeah, I see uh, it on dot com. Yeah, and, and you can, you know, you can see that on my website way back, whatever. I don't care. I ain't here to plug my site. But I'm just saying that oh, uh, <laughs> that those pictures are are there. They were they were disseminated by me with her approval, with her desire to show people mm-hmm. the contrast between when she was ill and she had none of her hair because she was going through the chemo and all that stuff, and uh, and she was very sick, and uh, and and then another picture where she was not. 
Uh, you know, and it's nothing nothing striking. She's not all made up or anything. She's pretty much like she looked on a daily basis, you know what I mean, with just whatever her T-shirt was, <laughs> you know, hair down and smiling. Um, and and that is, uh, that, that is the picture that I retain. Uh, uh, you know, so I don't want people to, to continuously think of her in the condition she was in on Monday. Uh, you know, think of her in, in, in the other way that was on that template, that big smile, that huge smile and, and incredibly strong bear hug she could give, by the way. Because hmm. uh, <laughs> I, got, I got a couple of those. Uh, and, you know, that that is the way that I want to recall her, and that's the way I'd like people to think of her. And, uh, and, and what, what comes after? Well, you know what? We don't have too many reporters that have come back with stories. So guess we'll have to find out about that later. But I think that uh, we should keep in mind, you know, how she lived for the majority of the time, um, and not just her struggle, but her her life itself. Amazing is, life, yeah. And she shows it reflected in. Uh, I've got your uh, on the page. You'll be able to find it. Uh, it's uh, from her profile pictures, where I took some pictures there to include here. And, and, if, and again, if you don't have Facebook, you can click here and sneak in the back door and see it anyways. Yes, we found the back door into Facebook, and uh, as far as I know, it's just a little sneaky thing that you can run around in there. But I think that's kind of neat, um, <laughs> kicking, kicking them out, kicking the system a little bit, throwing some pebbles at them, make a splash. That's what Becky was doing. She sure did. Yeah, she got out there. She went down Central America. And, um, she wasn't afraid to go places. I tell you, she would go after it. And there she find a fine looking fella right there. And they're gonna have uh they're gonna have a memorial for Becky uh services uh come spring. Mm. Yeah. I was questioned uh just on my stream here. A couple people have my Skype. Uh -huh. So they, they will send me questions in Skype. because uh, I shared the pictures around to Becky and stuff and kinda let people know. Um so I'm going to answer this. Uh, she had not been on my show very much properly. There was all kinds of times she was going <laughs> to. And she wasn't a proper guest always, but she called in several times. Uh, and so you, you, you'd find her kind of as a, as a mentioned caller on, uh, on some other shows, Is not as a, uh, as a scheduled guest. Are you talking about Lisa? No, uh, okay. Becky. Oh, 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 okay. I thought you were talking about somebody right now. Yeah, uh, Lisa... Uh, out there, they, uh, I, I think we were pretty close to all coming in as friends at about the same time. And Vicky, um, she's there uh, in the in the ether there with us too. Uh, she may not be hearing it right now, but we'll uh, when it comes downstream. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, I, I'm I hope that uh, to also collect anything that y'all like to say. Steve is listening right now, our brother. Um, slow me uh, get links over there and lined out. Anyways, uh, they. It'll all be recorded. I'll have to uh, press it all together and all that techno stuff. And I might have to holler help. Uh, Circle's over here in the Real Liberty Media chat. And uh, she's uh, another person that uh, is a very inspirational person. And I, I appreciate her her muse. She lives way over in, uh, uh, and you can, I guess you can't call it Europe. It's up there in Denmark, anyways. Uh but you know they call everybody in America uh, a Yankee. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? That's all right. Land, land of land of the cold, dark, and terrible cookies. Um, sure. <laughs> Denmark. Um, again, you know, it, like like I said, it, it's it's uh, it's an experience to deal with people that that. You know, you, you you haven't met face to face. When you do meet them, it's interesting. Sometimes it's a little disappointing, <laughs> to be honest with you. But uh, but Becky again uh, was uh, was a remarkable person all the way around. And, and quite frankly, I'm not surprised to hear that she was uh, an inspirational voice to other people that were trying to do some good work or doing some good work. I should say, forget the try. Uh, that were doing some good work and others that uh, you know maybe did need a little bit of encouragement. Uh, again, th th this is the thing. She was not just centered upon herself at all times. Uh, when she had to battle the diseases, she had to battle the diseases. Okay, 
but uh, but the rest of the time when that was not the absolute necessary focus, uh, you know, she she lived and um, like I said, you know, a remarkable person uh, was was there, and uh, that's that's what I again what I'm choosing to remember and uh, and uh, what what I what I will retain. So, anyway, uh, Steve, if you, Steve is listening, you're telling me, right? Uh-huh. Well, you know, uh, directly, personally, sorry for your loss, brother. But um, it is a blessing that you had a sister that you knew that was the remarkable person that she is. I, I only just just recently met my my half sister, uh, and I don't have any other siblings. And uh, you know, if 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 Becky was my sister, I, I'd I'd be smiling all the way around because uh, because you 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 had a hell of a sibling, and uh, so you know what yeah. can I say? I, I know it's probably a, a painful thing at this point in time, but uh, but I know that my entire family loved her, yeah. and not because we had to, but because well. She was somebody who uh, just require it, it, it was it was a requirement if you knew her you had to love her man so and and I wasn't related to her in any way I barely knew her only hung out with her for a weekend really uh, again with my whole family <laughs> and uh, great great person great time great individual and it is. Uh, it is a, uh, a a dimmer world without her, but she was here, and we shouldn't forget that ever. Absolutely, so. she's still sh- shining. This is a uh, uh, it's a tribute and a dedication, and remembrance of Becky. And I uh, I wonder if I got this. I, I've got to say, and we just had a, a long time Real Liberty Media uh, member pass away, Don Carroll. Um, pe- people come in this world and they leave, and um, they leave. A, they touch you. They, they leave a mark on you. It's there. And it's part of you. It comes inside of you. And that connection, that thread, where you come together. Uh, I got something beeping. Let me let me hand you the. Sorry, back. that was just me giving you oh, a picture. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's see. Where was I going to find that? Reckon. Uh, I think I know. The little little thing. Um, I I probably have it down here. <laughs> I'll go hunt. I think I got it. I think I do. I think I do. Little thing that uh, I pulled together out of words, gathered them up, and laid them back down. Uh, is it here? It's going to be. It's going to be. <laughs> I'm hunting. I, I changed things around, and I ain't knowing where it's at. This is the art of live radio. <laughs> <laughs> but I do know you gotta, you gotta pick up your words and put them back down and and hopefully nobody catches you trying to read right uh that's okay you know we we did talk about you Vince when I visited with her by the way <laughs> right on right on uh, and we talked about exactly what you're doing right now <laughs> fumbling around you know when i when I first started doing radio here's go I would I mean, for a whole year at least, I would just be as nervous as a dog crapping tax. I ain't kidding. And uh, but I just go on in there anyways, and uh, just if I fumble, I, I ain't hold it against myself. There are words, and they'll just jumble around. And that's part of something I do is take words and jumble around. But I found what I was looking for. I sure did. And it goes like this. As man is haunted by the vastness of eternity, we ask ourselves, Will our actions echo across the centuries? Will strangers hear our names long after we're gone and wonder who we were, how bravely we fought, and how fiercely we loved? Well, you'll be remembered as long as there's folks here, and there's a lot of them here to remember. We know that uh, we exist that long anyways, even after we're gone. And we have hope and faith that carries us on to other places. It gives us comfort here in this world. That hope is not yet seen. Many of us have can feel connections in different ways to one another, to 
to creation, to the universe, to God, the Creator. And if we see it a little differently, we talk in different words. It's uh, We're trying to find that same little tune where we can get a little band going right there and sing a song in so many ways. But hey, you know, that's why they call band practice, I guess. You know, you just can't go out there and dump it out there, I reckon. But that's what I'm doing anyway. This is a ponder gander and considering perspectives and uh, broadcasting what matters worldwide. And that's uh, that's how I see uh, uh, making a difference anyway, talking about things and bringing the light and consideration and the interaction with people, especially beyond whom we hold in uh, uh, in, in regard as the same of our, as ourselves, but uh, especially that we find those that are way more different than we are and uh, maybe try to understand and see where that goes and I, that's the only way it's step by step you know we're at a point in history where we're going to we're going to as a species we're going to fail we're going to die we're going to be slaughtered off and a lot of people think oh no 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 but the whole system is set up to uh, to milk us as uh, uh, dairy cattle I guess can take the cream off the crop and that's the way the world works but there's people trying to see a different world and there's people like Becky that came out and brought her voice in. These words, these words are so amazing. And I say, you gotta what? You gotta guard your words. Sure, do you got? They'll be taken and used against you sometimes. So it's important to be a witness. That's I call it being a witness and a judge and an advocate. And I set the position I take and that the duty that I feel that I have for uh, for man and for this world. And for myself and for for know all about it. Chuck, I think I've uh, exited here. Other than to say this has been uh, RealLibertyMedia.com. I'm Vincent Easley. This is Chuck Ocelli. Uh, join me from Ocelli.com. Got a great website over there. Broadcast. Get, there's a lot of good uh, guests over there. Very insightful people. Uh, I invite you over there. He uh, simulcasts. We carry him right here uh, every uh uh, weeknight at 7 p.m. and I'll go with Eastern time. <laughs> yeah, the the Ocelli channel at 8 p.m. Eastern. I uh, did it. But uh, that's when I'm live. But y- you can go 24/7 with the Ocelli channel. But I don't really care about promoting stuff today, man. This is not no, 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 not about no, that no, no. at all. Well, they'll want to come over and and uh, I'll have to get that also, and I'll include it in the radio log here uh, of the broadcast that uh, you had done with Becky. So and then I would like to invite people absolutely to come over because you've done uh compiled a uh amazing uh amount of work over there and people and insight uh, and so yeah absolutely uh chuck is uh in a friend of becky's as, as i am and he had the uh, honor of being able to wrap his arms around her and uh I, i'd done it in my heart and in my spirit many times becky she's uh she's one of those people i have i have people that uh I, I use as a as markers or buoys as a benchmark, and uh, I set these standards, and I I say, well, this they're they're true in this that they, they whether it be in knowledge or whether it be in action and uh, an example, uh, but benchmarks. You don't want to get a, led astray and and walk off, you know, fall fall off the path. Uh, difficult, difficult to a world we live in, and, and there's harms of all sorts out here. And we, we try to understand uh, how to uh, get through and not get ran over by this uh, the beast that uh, runs the world and operates it and extracts all its uh, uh, payment. Well, there's a lot of a uh, lot of things in this world, and sometimes you can't do much more than just give somebody a smile. And that might right there and save their life, change the world. You never know. It's what matters, though. That's what you do. You're not what you say you'll do. You're what you do. Cowboy quotes. I got that from, but lost the uh, took good link for it. So that's a a ponder or a paraphrase page is taking over on that one now, right here on this page. So. I almost say goodbye. Uh, stick around Real Liberty Media tonight at uh, 11 p.m. Eastern. It's the uh, Freakers Ball. That's free. F R E E. Freakers Ball. Gramner. And I think Moose Girls is gone to some music festival. 
So it'll be uh, Grimner balls to the walls and not his, not yours, not mine. Third ball, poke the balls against the wall. It ain't a game. <laughs> it ain't. Anyways, come back Sunday too and Monday and check the schedule. Come back to Real Liberty Media and visit Chuck O'Chelly. Uh, Chuck, take us out and tell me when you're done and I'll click a button. Oh, yeah. Well, look, uh, all, all I got to say is this, Vince, real quick. You know, there, there are righteous warriors in the world. There are righteous preachers in the world. And uh, the fact is that no matter what God you think they are on the side of, they are still right, and they are doing the right thing. And uh, I feel as though I got to meet somebody who was doing both when it came to our friend Becky. And uh, I'm sad for myself that she is not here but uh but I'm also at the same time rather grateful that uh that I got to encounter her in any way that I did. So that's all I got to say about that and uh yeah, we'll conclude out the the entire broadcast right here uh on your cue, brother. All right. Thanks, Chuck. I really appreciate you coming along. It uh, adds a lot more special meaning to it. Uh thank you. God bless your family, Becky. Steve and all, all the other kin there and the, the baby and uh, all that, those those people that we don't know, but uh, those people that was able to share a little piece of her life. Yeah. Comfort you in your grief. God bless.